There we go. A little further back. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, let's go. Let's put the arms down. It's gonna lower it in the water, and let's go ahead. We're gonna release. All right, so boat is released. Uh, we'll keep the crane out. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Okay, the boat is upside down. The boat has capsized. Hello, YouTube. Kaboto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we are going to be checking out some awesome creations and taking on some missions. So, I know a lot of people uh, like to see my uh, ship sinking survival. We will be doing that again, but I don't want to make all my Stormworks episodes be about, hey, let's just sink all these uh, awesome creations. So, we will be doing that again probably this weekend. Uh, oh, I've got myself stuck in a container here. Let's hop out of there. So yeah, uh, there has been some updates to the game, and I think they're starting to change the mission structure here in Stormworks, and I think there's going to be a major update coming out very soon, so I'm curious as to uh, what they're going to be changing. But yeah, we're going to start off here, check out some awesome creations, go out in the water and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Now, if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and if you have any suggestions for Stormworks, comment below. Do you want to see more missions? Uh, do you want to see more sinking ship survival? Uh, just let me know. But anyways, uh, let's jump right into this. All right, so here we are. We are ready to go. As you can see, it is pitch black out right now. We've got our first mission. There is a boat that is sinking. Uh, it sounds like we have three people aboard. I think it's probably the weather's not very good, so I don't think we're gonna get a chopper up. Uh, so we're gonna take the. Uh, this is a Coast Guard mothership, and what it is, it's basically a big ship, and it's got a small ship in it, and that is awesome. It's already loaded up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get up in the command bridge. All right, here we are. We need to crank this thing up. We got to get moving here. Uh, it is dark in here. Oh boy, where's the main power source, the main lights? There you go, deck lights, nav lights. Okay, we can turn that off. Uh, there's a signal horn. Let's go ahead and do our flood lamps, get those on real quick. Oh, ooh, those are bright. Wow, okay, so we got those all cranked up. Where are we firing this boat up from? Uh, time is of the essence right now, and I have no clue. It almost seems foggy in here. I think it's foggy outside. All right, we're going down into the engine room right now. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. So it's going to prime it. Engine one, two, three, four. All right, we should be good to go. Uh, this uh, The visibility on this mission, this is going to be pretty limited here. So I uh, look forward to seeing uh, how this is going to work out. Alright, we are cranked up, ready to go here. Let's go ahead and signal that we're leaving uh, the port. Oh, I can't see a thing. The visibility is just terrible. Oh, uh, we're sideways in this. Oh, this is going to take a second to get out. Oh, <laughs> that is so strange looking. Alright, so they are about... Ooh, how far are they out? Okay, they are about 5.6 kilometers out. This is my visibility right now, folks. Uh, the waves are pretty bad right now. It's raining. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get really close, probably, with this big ship. We'll probably have to deploy the uh, small one out. Uh, but hopefully we can get there in time. I don't know if they've changed how these sinking ships work. I don't know if there's, like, a timing on this or if it actually goes down or kind of what happens. All right, we are about 400 meters out. The waves out in the open are very intense right now. Uh, oh, I'm just trying to see if I can see them over here. Uh, something is going to appear. I don't know if the, uh, the boat's completely down right now. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to park the mothership kind of close to them. That way we can use it for light. And I'm going to hop into the, uh, the smaller ship. Is that a wave? Like, is that actually crashing in front of me? Wow, these are big waves. Yeah, it doesn't make this rescue any easier that it's night, and I cannot really see because of the fog right now. All right, we're showing to be about 100 meters out. They should be alongside. I don't see a ship. All right, so whatever boat they are on, it's down. Okay, so we're going to stop here. Oh, buddy, we are getting pounded by waves right now. All right, let's go ahead and step out real quick. Oh! How bad does this look? This looks pretty bad. This is putting the rescuers at a, 
at risk too. So, anyways, I don't see a. Oh, that's a big wave coming. Come on. Oh, ho, ho. let's see. Uh, where are they at? Okay, they're right in front of us here. I need to get to where we can release this. So, main boom out, boom magnets. All right, so I'm assuming we click that. We're gonna put the. Uh, we're about to lower the ship in the water. There we go. A little further back. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, let's go. Let's put the arms down. It's gonna lower it in the water, and let's go ahead. We're gonna release. All right, the ship should be released in the water right now. Yeah, it is. All right, so boat is released. Uh, we'll keep the crane out. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Okay, the boat is upside down. The boat has capsized. Oh, okay. I don't know if I have a plan B here. Uh, we have lost the rescue ship. All right, so plan B. Oh, boy. Can I get that out of the water? Oh, this is terrible. This is the worst that I've ever seen wave-wise and weather-wise in Stormworks. Oh, we're getting hit. Uh, have we completely lost it? Yeah, the boat's over there. Okay. We're going to have to go to another plan to get these... Oh, almost got washed off deck. All right. Uh, we got to get up here. Oh, these waves are massive. Are the people still in the water? Okay, they're over on that side. Okay, well, this is about to get even more dangerous. We've got to pull a huge ship up close to these people. That way we can actually rescue them. Oh, boy. Man, I can't believe we lost our rescue ship. It didn't even have a chance. There would be no way we would be doing this in a helicopter either, so... Oh boy, there are people in the water here. I have a feeling they probably would have been goners by now in this type of weather. Okay, so I need to get close to them, so it's going to take some maneuvering. I'm going to try not to hit them with the boat, just judging on the way these waves are working right now. I don't want to kind of skim over them. I don't wonder if we can knock the rescue boat back over. All right, so I got spotlights on the people in the water. They look like a bunch of vacationers. Uh, one of them has a life jacket, the others don't, so... Oh, you can see their boat at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, that's intense. Okay, so this is extremely dangerous. We're going to grab you. Come on, buddy. No, I need you to... Uh, can I tell you other ones? Uh, will you guys follow me up on my boat? Oh, we're underwater right now. All right, hopefully you guys can navigate up this ladder here. I'm not going to be able to carry everybody. So we're going to go up to the, uh, the boat here. Okay. Come on, we can do this. Uh, buddy. Okay, get on the ladder. Let's see if these guys can get themselves up in the boat. Okay, there's one. Okay, we got one in. Let's go ahead and open up the medical bay here. All right, you need to go ahead and... Where you at? Okay, I got two of them here. So, get in the bed. Uh, that's not really in the bed, but close enough. All right, we got one more person in the water. Uh, let's see if we can go retrieve them. All right, got our last guy. Go ahead and I guess we'll put you in the floating medical bed. Let's pick you up. There we go. All right, everybody's down in the medical bay right now. Uh, well, we got away with that. I don't know. Where's our ship at? Yeah, it's upside down. Well, the uh, Coast Guard just lost a ship. That's going to cost us some money. Uh, let's go ahead and retrieve our, uh, our crane here. Oh, boy. All right, and we need to get to the, uh, the hospital here and deliver these patients. That kind of stinks that we lost that. I was wanting to actually use that, that little mini boat. Ah, uh, yes. So out of the darkness, uh, I finally see the, uh, the hospital island. That was quite a trip. Uh, you can see the weather's calmed down quite a bit. It is still a bit on the foggy side, but we survived. We somehow made it. Uh, our little boat didn't survive, unfortunately. Would have liked to have actually been able to use that. Yeah, it's upside down, probably at the bottom of the ocean now. So, realistically, I just got to deliver these uh, three guys, or actually it's two guys and one girl, off to the hospital here. And then we'll probably jump into another creation. I don't know, I'll probably have to look at the, uh, the missions first and see what we have. And see if there's something else that we want to take. But I'm going to pull up to the dock here. Let's go ahead and inform them. We are here. I love these uh, signal horns. These are awesome sounding. Tell you what, the hospital needs a bigger dock. This is just a bit embarrassing. Alright, that's about as close as we're going to get, people. Alright, let me unload the peeps, and we should be good to go here. Uh, I'm so glad at least the weather's uh, cleared up just a bit. A little bit.
All right. Well, you people were very, very lucky that you uh, survived your little ordeal here. There you go. Stop. And you need to stop following me. He still got his little snorkel on. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, let's go load up and head back to base, and we'll see what we can get into next. All right, so for our next creation here, we have the Thunderbirds. I don't know if this is a jet or really what this is. This looks to be like a, a rescue hovercraft based on a, it's a TV show uh, from a while back. I'm going to be honest, I have really never seen it. I've seen the creations from it. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and spawn this. I think we can actually do missions with this one. Uh, let's spawn it in. Oh, check that out. Wait, do we just like get in this pilot seat and actually get thrown up in it? Dude, Thunderbird Pilot 1, is there a second pilot? Do we need somebody else? Oh, let's toggle the chair lift. Oh, that is cool. Oh, wait, how do we see out of this? I guess we, uh, I guess we don't. Okay, let's see. Close cockpit doors, which I think is below us here. Key button, reverse all thrust. Okay, let's go ahead and close these. There we go, doors are closed. Chair lift, I can no longer toggle. Let's go cabin lighting. It's cruise control, altitude hold. I'm assuming this is gonna fly like a helicopter, so let's go get our nav lights on. There's two different flight modes, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and prime the systems here. Start the engines. Uh, let's see, search lights, spotlights, and oh, it's got a magnet too, cool. Oh, what the heck? just happened oh boy oh uh, I'm pretty sure that's yeah that's bad okay was there a auto hover somewhere so normally those are uh, really handy oh that looks safe that looks really safe all right we might have to respawn this all right here we go we're gonna stow the landing gear oh there we go oh oh dude this is cool uh, let's get out the uh, out the hangar here. Uh, I don't want to die. Are you kidding me? Like, what is this even? I don't understand. Dude, that is sweet, huh? Let's see. Oh, that has got some speed to it. And oh, that's pretty stable. It might look a little bit wobbly, but this is doing a really good job right now. That is awesome. So, this is just the cockpit area. There is no... There's like a, oh, we got a spotlight here that we can deploy. Oh, that was awesome. It just came out the bottom. Now, if you're, uh, real quick, if you're seeing some frame rate hitches, that is just what's been happening since this update. Uh, so I do apologize if you see the frame rate dip up and down. All right, so we got a, a magnet too. I guess we could pick stuff. Oh, dude. So we can attach stuff to the bottom of this. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's turn off that spotlight real quick. There we go. Okay, so What if we have a, a mission where we can go pick something up? Uh, I'm curious as to what kind of power this uh, ship has or aircraft whatever you want to call this All right, let's look at our missions real quick Okay, so we have a mission here where we can retrieve a research drone It says locate and retrieve the research drone belonging to the science mission the drone has a small connector at water level in the front. You know, I think if this thing's powerful enough, we might be able to do this with this craft. That would be pretty nuts. Let's see, there's the drop off. Okay, so the drone is about six kilometers out. So let's go ahead and turn this thing. Oh, this is too cool. All right, and let's get going here. Uh, let's uh, test out some speed here. Now there's two different flight modes. I want to pick up this drone first and then we can test out the other one. I don't want to do something that might screw up this mission. So it's going to take us a second here, but wow, this drone is actually really far away. 5.5 kilometers. Wow. All right. We are about 700 meters out from the drone. I don't have visual on it right now. Uh, waiting for it to appear. I don't want to crash into the water because I'm pretty sure I won't get this uh, craft back. All right, we're about 300 meters out and closing, looking for this drone. I'm hoping it's not too big. Okay, is that it? Yeah, there's something in the water right there. All right, so we'll need to deploy the, uh, the little hook here. 
All right, so let's go ahead and extend the magnet. There we go. Let's go ahead and activate it. So that's what we need to hook on to right there. Uh, question is, uh, which side is the front side of this drone? Uh, let's see if we can park over it here. Uh, this is gonna be tricky to do. Okay, I think the back side. I don't know which side is which. All right, this is gonna take a little bit of. Okay, I don't like how this thing shifts sometimes. Oh, uh, see, it just shifted there. What are you doing? What are you doing, Craft? Yeah, this thing shifts. Uh, the nose will shift around. Thankfully, I think this thing can get itself out of the water. All right, let's uh, let's go give this another try here. There appears to be a button on the drone, which, if there is, that is a pain in the butt. All right, so, oh, uh, buddy. Let's go and open up the cockpit doors here. This is where it's going to get dangerous. So, I'm going to have to lower myself to water level because I want to ensure that I can get back up in my craft. So, we'll go about to probably there. All right, let's, uh, let's go and lower ourselves here. Oh man, this is dangerous. Okay, it's lower, lower, lower. I want the chair to basically touch the water. I want to ensure that I can get back up in this. There we go. Okay, we are there. So let's hop out. Yeah, there's a magnet on top of this, but it needs to be activated on the drone, which is a big pain in the rear end. Uh, there's a button. There it is. Yep. All right, gonna reactivate our magnet here. There we go. Let's activate that. Oh, we got it. That was an immediate hook on right there. All right, sweet. Now, question is, can we lift this thing? So we got our altitudes. Toggle that. All right, here we go. Oh, that is so cool. I think it's. Oh, it is working. Oh, that is a. That's one way to do your little drone retrieval. You use the uh, Thunderbirds uh, plane to take it. Oh, that is so awesome. All right, let's go ahead and take this to the... I hope there's not like a snapping point for that magnet. I don't think it'll fall off. All right, so let's go take this uh, magnet to the uh, the drop-off here. All right, we're coming down to the drop-off spot here. Have I ever been to this island before? This looks actually uh, quite a bit different. What the heck is this island? Assuming it's some sort of a uh, science place here. Does it want me to drop it off in the water? I guess so, right outside the uh, the dock there. Wonder if we can nail the zone here. Let's go ahead. Uh, start to lower, lower. Oh, I think we got this. We could totally deliver this thing right here. Watch out, bird. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're about over the zone. Let's go ahead and maintain altitude here. Oh, no, 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 no. don't maintain it that way. Oh no, no. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Oh, we just crashed the plane. No! On, let's release it. Uh, uh oh. Oh! Oh, this thing's filling up with water. Uh, okay, close the doors, close the doors. Uh, okay, cockpit doors are closed. Uh, we've trapped water in here with ourselves. Alright, this thing's got a, a anti flip thing, so we can reverse all the thrusters. Go ahead and click it. Uh, how good does this work? Oh, it's working! Come on! No, oh, no, 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 no! Come on, get us out of the water! Get us out of the water! We're drowning in here! Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, abandon ship. Alright, turn that off. Uh, open the cockpit doors. Toggle the lift. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Wow. Well, that drop off didn't go as expected. That was crazy. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Alright, so I get told a lot to uh, check out a submarine, so that's what we're going to do last here today. We have the Oscar class submarine, and ooh, that is a big one, isn't it? Wow, huh? And does this have a full interior? What the heck is going on here? Let's go ahead and spawn this in real quick. This looks rather large. Is it large? That's a, that's a pretty big one. Alright, let's go ahead and hop into here. Now, question is, does the submarine work? I don't know if I've encountered a big sub that I've gotten to work, so let's go ahead and open that here. Oh, all right, it's nice and dark in here. Okay, do we have some lighting in here somewhere? Oh, we've got plenty of buttons, I know that. Okay, so that's how you feel. Okay, so this is the engine starter here. Uh, let's start that engine. Is this another engine starter over here? Okay, so let's turn the safeties on. All right, do we have, okay, there's the ballast. That way we can fill up this thing with water. 
So I guess this is gonna work somewhat like the uh, somewhat like the sinking ships do. So let's see, how do we how do we proceed forward here though? I don't really know what the guide van lines. What are those? Hold on, let's just go ahead. Let's put those out real quick. Uh, do I see anything changing? Uh, oh, oh, there they are in the front. Oh, that's like an extra uh, bit of control. Okay, now we can actually turn. Turns uh, pretty slow, but it is a sub, so we've got that. Uh, so we could. S okay, that's where we fill in all the ballast. Let's see. All right, so these are the blow. So I'm assuming these are gonna pump the water out to go up. So we want to sink this. So let's go ahead and let's fill both of these. There we go. See how long this thing takes to start to go underwater. Oh, it's already going. Oh, dude, that's cool looking. So in here, you'll see probably in one of these sections, a uh, water start to fill these areas up. There it goes. Man, this thing, does it have any sort of lighting on it? That kind of looks like a searchlight at the top, is it not? Maybe it's not, huh? Let's see here. You can somewhat see out of this. I kind of wish we had some lights here. Uh, engine throttle, any lighting? No. All right, she's still slowly sinking here. I can see the water line is still going up, still going up. Uh, should be clearing that window here in a second. Waiting. Okay, it's going inside. Oh, there's a water line right there, and that part is underwater. We're almost completely submerged. The tail's submerging right now. Oh, that is cool. All right, I wonder how far this will go down. Is there a way to, uh, let's see, that's to, I guess, release the water. Is there a way, once we fill, are we going to drag bottom, or is it going to level out somewhere? Is that a fish? Yep, that is a fish. Alright, let's go ahead and make sure it's we're throttle all the way up here. Dude, that is so cool. Yep, and we can still maneuver it down here too. So it's gonna keep dropping its nose here. Is it just gonna skim the bottom? Or maybe we should only have one of these things filled. So you've got the uh, the center ballast and you got the bow. Maybe we would only fill one, huh? Let's uh Let's stop filling the that part and let's blow that out real quick. Uh, is that a mistake? Are we gonna tip over? Are we gonna level out here? I think I know what I'm doing. Not really, but this is still really cool. <laughs> see if we can get that nose to point up. Oh, this thing, okay, we're releasing too much water here. Okay, let's go ahead and put that back. Okay, let's fill that back up. Uh, we gotta reverse this here, because we were starting to tip up. Let's let this thing completely fill, and we'll see how this thing drives underwater. You know, I have a feeling I submarine wrong here. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we screwed something up. Uh, okay, so, are we lifting? I think we are, actually. Yeah, the, the butt end's lifting, so... Let's get that to stop doing that. Oh, here it comes. Sweet, okay, so we are lifting, so let's go ahead and stop releasing water and let's go ahead and start the fill again and see if we can level this thing out and let's go ahead and start moving forward. All right, so it should dip back down again. Uh, it's leveled off. All right, there we go. I'm trying to get to the, uh, the deeper part of the water here, which it's really right ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and stop filling here, and let's blow this all out, and we'll get up to that deeper part. All right, we're a little deeper now. I'm going to go ahead and submerge it again. Let's go ahead and release those. All right, and let's go ahead and start taking on water again. There we go. So we should start to poke down. All right. Yeah, we're a little bit deeper now. This should be uh, better for the sub. And the top is disappearing. It is gone. Almost now. Come on. Yeah, you can't see much out of this, but there is definitely fishes going around. Uh, we're in a little bit deeper water here, and we should hit the bottom. Yep, there goes the nose. And we are diving. Dive, dive, dive. There we go. We're diving to the bottom. Oop, okay. Now, question is, how do we get the butt end of this thing to set down? 
That's a that is a good question. I'm not really sure. Center the bow. Huh? Let's go ahead. Actually, let's blow the center out. See if we can get this thing to set down here. You know, I'm still not 100% sure I know what I'm doing with this thing. It is very awesome. I need probably a little bit more practice. Thankfully, there's a lot of these uh, types of subs on the uh, workshop, so we'll probably have to practice that a bit more next time. I just, uh, I'm having some issues getting the, the nose to poke up. That way we can kind of cruise underwater. Uh, there's probably something fairly simple that I'm doing wrong here, but uh, nonetheless, very cool creation. Let's hop out here. Uh, can I get up to the top here? I would like to actually let the water in. Come on. Come on, that button's right there. Uh, I can almost touch it. There we go. Oop. Wait. Oh, there's the water. Oh, there we go. We let the water in. Wait. Since we let the water in, it's actually shifted the weight over. And uh, the front's coming up. Oh, there's the uh, well, there's where it's blowing out some of the water. Oh, that is so neat that that actually changed that when we opened the uh, cockpit up. What the heck? Yeah, it's coming out of the water completely now. That's awesome. But anyways, folks, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. We will be returning with another sinking ship survival. I've got a couple ships in mind that I want to see go down to the bottom of the ocean. And we're going to get to experience that. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, comment below. Let me know what you want to see. And do go support the, uh, the workshop creators of these awesome creations here. So, yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. We will see you guys next time in Stormworks. Thank you.